Tonight from the Brampton Center, it is the Battalion hosting the Oshawa Generals. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson along with my partner up in the booth, Sam Cosentino. We'll be bringing you all the action here live on Rogers Sports. And Sammy, a big game in more ways than one for the Battalion tonight. Well, no question about it. The Battalion want to continue their run to first place in the division. Of course, that would mean a second seed in the conference standings and home ice advantage. That would be huge for the Battalion. Right now, one point up on the St. Michael's Majors. As for the Oshawa Generals, uh, equally as important, they sit second in the Eastern uh, Division, yeah. but it's not that far for them to fall down into the lower echelon and maybe lose home, uh, home ice advantage in that first round. We talk about every game becoming a crucial game from now to the playoffs. This is one of those crucial matchups. There's tonight's starting goaltenders. Kevin Couture in the net for the Brampton Battalion. Couture replacing Brad Topping last night in Mississauga after Topping gave up three goals in three minutes and 22 seconds. He preserved a 5-3 victory. Chris Beckford, too, a 3.13 goals against average, and he's the man that leads this general squad. Getting set for the opening draw. Nathan Horton steps to center with Jay McClement of the Battalion. McClement flanked by Scott Rosendale. It looks like Tyler Harrison on the left side. Bit of a changeup. A little bit of a switch uh, on that top line. It's normally uh, Wojtek Volsky who gets the start over there, but with he gone to the under-17 team out to the uh, eastern part of the country, Tyler Harrison gets a shot to step up here in one of the top two lines for the baton. Interesting you don't see Chris Rowan on that top line. Top of the slot, and Clayton will get it to center ice. This is Adam Henrik around the defender. Henrik cutting to the front of the net, tips it past. Beckford Sue makes the big save. Side by Beckford Sue. Camille Kreps with the shot right on. Burns will leave it down low for Rowan. He fights off the check. Kreps in the open, scores! Camille Kreps makes it one nothing for the battalion. Well, you can't give a guy like Camille Kreps that much time in front of the net because he'll have no choice but to bury it. Kreps had all day, had a cup of coffee, and think, in fact, he even grinded the beans before he fired that shot to the top corner, beating Beckford Sue. What a great play to allow Kreps to get wide open in front of the net. Some good work by Rowan, who drew two defenders before feeding it out to Kreps. And you see he has Beckford Sue at his mercy right from the slot, and he wires it to the top corner for Camille Kreps, his 17th goal of the season, and a nice one at that. Ranger brings it across center. Eager has the puck off the draw. Shot right on, Couture gives up the big rebound. Oshawa controls. Niddle feeds it off to the side, they score! An absolute howitzer from Ben Eager. And it's a 1-1 tie. Well, Aaron Niddle is absolutely huge. And he fought off a check with one hand, and just simply with the other hand, made the pass over to Ben Eager who was already in motion to fire that puck. And despite being at a bad angle, he beats Kevin Couture, who was just slightly late getting across the crease to make the save. A short time after the goal by the Brampton Battalion, the generals come back, look at Niddle, fight the check off with one hand, fires it uh, across the ice with the other, and Ben Eager bangs it home to tie this hockey game at one. Jimmy Fraser, tip to the blue line, Fraser after the loose puck. And it's John Neal, stolen from him by David Brown, shot. Beckford Sue, weak shot, but Beckford Sue got enough of it. We're gonna get a penalty, and it looks like it's Matt Macaron going to the box. Fires up and leads for Frank Bergio. Bergio around a couple of defenders to Olihan. Picked up, Colt King on a break. Let's it go and scores. Make no mistake about it, Colt King picks the corner perfectly. Bad giveaway at the line, and Colt King walks in and fires it. Right at the bar, just over the glove of Kevin Couture, who was left at the mercy. Look at this turnover, and Colt King, no one near him, gets right between the circles, and boom, fires it top corner. Couture with no chance as King picks up his 16th goal of the season to give Oshawa a 2-1 to -one lead. Off the draw, Krebs tries for the shot. Goes down low after the puck. Fighting off the check. Kreps looking to leave it for Rowan. Gives him the pass. Rowan in front. Tipped by Burns. They score. Shoot the puck at the net and good things can happen. Brent Burns stands his ground and tips one past Chris Beckford Sue tying the game at two. 
Well, three minutes and six seconds here into this second period, and Camille Krebs goes into the center of the ice, fights off a couple of checks, makes the pass over to Chris Rowan, and I thought Rowan took just a little bit extra time because Burns was parked in front of the net. Check this out. You see Krebs get the pass to Rowan. Now, Burns is wide open in front of the net. Rowan takes a little time as he's backing up, so he didn't get a lot on the shot, but any time you can get a redirection, and that's what Burns did, it always makes it hard for the goaltender, and he beats Beckford Sue, his 10th goal of the year. Clayton looking to feed his man. Camille Krebs gets by him. Cross ice pass on the tape for Nolan. There's the shot, Couture, big save, and another one off of Nolan. Man pass to Rowan. Rowan leaves it for Krebs. Krebs for Burns, he takes the hit, but gets the pass to Krebs. Beats it down low for Rowan, back for Krebs. Lots of room, big glove save from Chris Beckford Sue. That's it go, pad save. Chipped in front. Johnson has a man with him, that's Cole King, leaves it for King. King stops up from his knees, great pass. Couture with a big save off Brandon Nolan. Good anticipation by Kevin Couture. He saw Nolan down the wing, Cole King got the pass across to him. That play set up by Jamie Johnson as well, who will join us in the second intermission. The captain wearing number 10 for the Oshawa Generals. And you see Johnson setting it up. King cross ice pass and a good read by Couture, who was well across to make the save on Nolan. Here off the boards. Horton can't catch up to it. And Rangers got a back pedal to center ice. Right. 15 seconds left. Stolen. Here's McClement on a break. Jay McClement. Big save from Beckford Sue. Johnson tied up nicely by Young, and Sellen will keep it in. Good job by Nolan in front. They score! Jamie Johnson makes it 3-2 Oshawa. Well, Dougie Stewart-Simmons, who I thought had a great shift right up to that point, the puck goes behind the net. Simmons recognized that Nolan was right in after it. He kind of turned his body to shield himself from the check, but forgot about the puck. Nolan emerged from the pile. Johnson left all alone in the front of the net as Kevin Young was a little late getting back. And just like that, this is a 3-2 hockey game. Johnson picking up the goal, his 21st of the season. Nolan with the assist, and you can't make mistakes like that in the defensive zone for sure. Following it up is Horton over to Eager. In alone, Eager trying to give it back to Horton. Puck comes loose, Couture makes the save. Rebound, Horton a shot. Couture again stacks the pad. The board, Sellen keeps it in at the blue line. Nolan's got it, trying to get it out in front. Logic bumps him into the boards and will get a penalty going against Martin Logic of the battalion. Logic took liberties with Brandon Nolan there behind the net. And Jamie Johnson, who's the captain of this team, jumps right away at the defense of his teammate Nolan. Get away from him. Kolda with it again. Lots of time. Plays it off for Horton. Horton trying to step out in front. Back for Kolda. He'll wind. Play it to the side. Nolan's got it in front. Loose puck in the crease. Horton wrist shot. He scores. No mistake about it. Nathan Horton makes it 4-2. Well, Nathan Horton setting up shop in the high slot, and it was just a matter of time before he got a chance with some open ice ahead of him. So Horton picks up his 25th goal of the year on the power play. The puck goes back to Horton. Kevin Young having trouble clearing it, and uh, Couture, who's out at the top of the crease, but anytime you got a goal score from that close, Kevin Young, bad backhand pass. It was almost like a clearing attempt, like he didn't even realize he had the puck. Uh, put it right onto the tape of Nathan Horton, who picks up the goal for Oshawa. Back for Clayton, he dumps his man. No penalty called on the play, puck is loose. Henrik jumps up, picks up the loose puck, in front! Ulihan fired it wide! What a load of opportunity there for Ryan Ulihan. Fraser on the headman pass to Harrison. Harrison back to Fraser, can't stuff at home. Harrison follows up to Fraser again. Wraparound goes wide. Rosendale tied up in front of the net. He takes a couple of good hits. Simmons shot, right on. Five mark of this, of this third period. In front, to the crease, Couture with the save. Loose puck, Colt King bangs at it. Jamie Johnson with the shot. Kevin Couture comes up, big one more time.
We get another chance to look at this flurry in front of the net. Colt King is a big guy. He just sets up shop in front of the net, and there is no moving him out of the way. Stuart Simmons having words with him now as he takes off to the bench. But at 6'3", 220 pounds, Colt King is a guy you are not going to move easy in front of the net. Watch the cross check by King here to set himself up for the shot on goal. The puck goes to Johnson who fires the wrist shot, but while down on the ice, Couture makes a great save with the glove. On the roll, here comes McClement. There's the shot, rebound, they score! Brent Burns makes it 4-3. Oh my, big opportunity at one end, shorthanded goal at the other. Well, Jay McClement, when he picked that puck up at the blue line, he looked like a man on a mission, Dougie. He looked like he was not going to be denied. He carried the puck in, used the defenseman as a screen, got the rebound off Beckford Sue's pads, and streaking in to pick up that rebound was Brent Burns, who we talked about. His development this season has been phenomenal here in his rookie year. He picks up his 11th of the year, second of the night, and just like that, that lead is cut in half. And Oshawa, after being pinned in their own zone now, for the last three or four minutes and having given up a shorthanded goal. George Burnett calls a timeout to try and straighten things out. He knows how important these two road points are. Gordon wins this drop from McClement. Buckles in the corner. Frazier takes a huge hit. He goes down. We're going to get a penalty going against Rosendale one more time. Just to clear up any confusion, our Brampton viewers will be the ones getting the spin-a-thon. In Oshawa, you will be getting other programming. Doesn't mean you can't sign up to sponsor someone. Jamie Johnson going wide with the open net. Kevin Young, the lone man back. Horton puts it in, finishes off the game. With 28 seconds left on the clock, the Oshawa Generals will go home with a victory. So give one and get one, shorthanded goals. And the Italian will go to the room with two point shot. George Burnett, you see the referees get out there now. A little bit bad blood, especially after the cut given to Adam Henrik, who's taking stitches now in his chin. He went right over towards center ice and challenged Katsopoulos. And uh, things getting straightened out by the linesmen and the referees. Both teams will head to their respective dressing rooms. But it's the Oshawa Generals who come out on top here tonight with a 5-3 win. Nathan Horton, two goals, now has 26 on the season. Led the way for the Gens. Stan Butler uh, pointing out to Adam Henrik, not worth the suspension. We need you for the playoffs and we need you on the road back. 5-3 the final score from the Brampton Center. We're coming back with our final wrap up. Stay with us for more on OHL Primetime. So a tough home loss for the Battalion. 5-3 dropping the decision to the Oshawa Generals and Sammy. The Generals really just outworked the Battalion throughout this hockey game. Yeah, real uh, solid road game. After falling behind 1-0, uh, Oshawa jumped back with two goals before the end of the first period, took a 2-1 lead and forced Brampton to play catch-up in their own barn uh, since that time on. And uh, I thought the Oshawa Generals played very well. Chris Beckford, Sue, solid between the pipes. And this is a team that can throw three lines at you, but they can throw a physical edge that most teams don't have and have trouble defending. Yeah, and the Brampton Battalion really tried to give that physicality back in uh, the form of Scott Rosendale, and Rosendale got caught for a couple of minor penalties late in the third. Well, he's one of those guys that if he gets into it a little bit, he's at his best when he plays rough and tumble type hockey, but he also has a bit of a short fuse, so he's one of those guys that he just has to watch, and yeah. he's at his best when he toes the line between uh, going nuts and, and playing hard physical hockey. Three stars for tonight's game. Nathan Horton picks up the third star from Oshawa. Captain Jamie Johnson, our second intermission guest, picks up second star. And Brent Burns of the battalion, the first star, and well-deserved for Brent Burns. Yeah, he, was, he had a fantastic uh, game here tonight for the Brampton Battalion. He was all over the ice and finished off on two goals. Now has uh, 11 on the season. And what uh, it's been fun to watch the development of Brent Burns here in his rookie year. It absolutely is. And Brent's joining us right now. Brent, a heck of a hockey game came up on the short end of a 5-3 decision. But I'll tell you something. Uh, after last night coming up with a 5-3 win, uh, you guys really got a, a tough stretch run ahead of you, don't you? Yeah, it was really important for us. Uh, last night was a big win for us. And today we really wanted to win just because we're so close to 
us and we really want that second place in our uh, conference right now. It was, today was a big game that we lost. And we talked uh, so many times throughout the broadcast about your development, but what's been the biggest thing that you've found that's improved in your game from day one uh, right till this point in the season? Uh, I think it's my confidence just with Stan keep putting me out there. The, the veterans on our team are great, keep telling me just to keep working hard, and that's just my confidence has been getting a lot better during the season. You're playing a lot with Jay McClement. Uh, how has that helped you progress? Because he's seen a lot of action in the last couple of years here with the battalion. Oh, it's been great. He's a great leader. He works really hard. He just helps me with my development. Now, we've asked this question to a couple of different guys, but uh, as a rookie, uh, how do you feel about your team, and what does your team need to do to uh, improve on this run to, towards the playoffs and home ice advantage? I think our team can be as good as we want to be. Uh, it's just a matter of working hard every night, and we have the we can be one of the top teams in this league. Brent, thanks for joining us. Get to the dressing room, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Thanks. For Sam Cosentino, I'm Doug Anderson. Thanks for joining us from the Brampton Center. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the hockey game.